Holy crap, we just got the season five trailer and there, I don't know, I was like worried that it wasn't going to be great and after watching it and seeing it, I am extremely happy. I'm going to let the trailer play right now. It's like a minute and 40 seconds, so if you don't want to watch it, you've already watched it and you just kind of want to skip forward to like talking about it, just skip forward like a minute and 40 seconds. Okay, what the heck? That was sick. We got Flood customization. We got Firefight. We got Forge AI. Cross core helmet customization. New maps. New modes. This is it, baby. But before we get into actually talking about all that, if you enjoy Halo content and you're looking for a Halo YouTuber who's not going to complain all the time, then this is the channel for you. I'm grinding away towards 15k. We could hit that easily by the end of the year. I know 96% of you watching the videos aren't subscribed so if a couple of you just hit the subscribe button we will hit that okay let's talk about it so the first thing we see is the halo 4 extraction mode returns but it's reimagined they show some gameplay of a guy quantum translocating behind it killing two people who then turn into flood forms so i assume that this is kind of what they were saving the the flood for so instead of infection flood forms we got the ai stuff but i feel like this is now the flood game mode is uh extraction and i'm not gonna lie they look great these are high quality model i was not expecting this now it says inspired flood customization so i don't know if that means like you get to pick what you want to look like when you come back as the Flood, or if this is just across all game modes, you can look like you're infected. I don't know yet. We then get to see the new arena map, Prism, which looks pretty amazing, I won't lie. I've been waiting for this map for a long time. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. You're able to shoot some of the shards on the map to turn into needler projectiles that will chase people and eventually kill them. That's pretty cool. But yeah, overall, the map looks great. We then get the other map, which is not a BTB map, and it is an arena map, so that stinks that we're not getting a BTB map, at least at the start of the season. Who knows if they'll release something later on, but uh, Forbidden, I love the aesthetic and stuff. I think that these maps look great. The, the temple gives me super Star Wars vibes. I know we've talked about it before, but we see some more Flood stuff, some more that looks like Halloween-inspired um, death effects. You then get the Grunt to pop in. And they like stare at each other and then the other grunt falls on top of him. Very good humor there, 343. But yeah, it says it adds AI to Forge Creations, which is going to be insane. And honestly, I was like, when they showed this and hadn't shown the um, like firefight stuff, I was like, damn, dude, we're not getting firefight this, this season. And it's going to be, you know, like really heavily relying on the community to make stuff. We did see some of the snow map uh for forge 
which I love snow, so give me some more of that. You can also earn Battle Pass XP in custom games. That's pretty cool. That'll definitely incentivize people to hop in the custom, you know, lobbies way more. Helmets across core, and they show like a quick little thing showing all the helmets, and this will absolutely open up some stuff for me. I've been trying to... I'm going to put stuff on my Mark 5B, I think. Um, I love that core to death. Maybe we move over the, uh, you know, Rock Shasha helmets over to that. So I'm, I'm happy. You then get the new hero rank reward, which is, you know, Master chief's armor from the campaign which people have absolutely wanted so that's another win even though i'm probably never gonna hit hero you know in the next like two years because i'm old and dying and i have a job and everything and that kind of stinks but yeah and then it goes into like the the end screen and it just says it's available october 17th and they hadn't shown forge or not forge but hadn't shown firefight and I was like, dang, man. But it says, and coming soon to season five. So it's not going to be at launch, I assume, that they put it like Firefight, King of the Hill. And then it shows some gameplay of, uh, you know, the, the little area from the campaign. And then, um, you know, just shows some Firefight stuff. And it looks great. And I'm very happy. And I honestly think that I'm more surprised that we're getting all this stuff than, I don't know. I feel I am... I am more than whelmed, and it's been a while since I felt like... I thought last season was really good, too, but, man, we are really starting to get into what feels like the end game of the Halo Infinite uh, Redemption arc. So I'm very excited for Season 5. I can't wait. We're only a couple days away. Halo Worlds is uh, coming up this weekend, too, and I'm sure they're going to show more stuff off uh, during those live streams, so you guys should absolutely check that out. I'm... I'm excited. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel, if you're excited for Season 5, what you're most excited for. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I am back from vacation. I love you all. You mean the world to me. Peace!